As a teenager, 21-year-old Mohamed Timbo was involved in a life of crime and gang violence which led to a prison sentence. While on remand, Timbo reflected on his past, making a promise to change for good. He has gone on to earn the respect of inmates, staff and the Reflex team, who have supported him throughout his time in prison. I'm Sean Vera, I'm the coordinating chaplain at uh, Thorncross Cross Young Offenders Prison, and it's been a real treat for me, a privilege to know Timbo, and uh, to see the way that uh, his faith in Jesus Christ has not just transformed his life, but pretty much everybody in this place, whether it's staff or prisoner alike. Uh, you know, I think anybody can impress from a distance, but to impact a life, you've got to get up close and personal, and that's where Timbo makes such a difference. I'm currently serving a three-year sentence in prison and I'm due for release within the next week or so. The kind of life I used to live was the kind of life which got me in trouble here. So I used to sell drugs. I'm mean, currently in jail now for intent to supply, which was selling crack and heroin. And I used to get involved in all sorts of gang warfare as well. I've been stabbed numerous times, got stab marks all over my body. I was arrested for an offence that I did. So whilst I was in the cell, I started to think to myself, is this life really worth it? In the, in the police station, in the cells, there's, on top of you, there's a sign which says, are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? And I looked at that and I said, you know what I am? I've had enough of this. I'm 18 years old. I've been in police station numerous of times. I've got my best friend who's just passed away. I've got a whole heap of other friends who are getting locked up for 10 to 15 years. I said, you know, I don't want no more of this. And in jail, you, you tend to find a whole heap of people who actually want to change, a whole heap of people who actually want to do something different in their life because they've had enough, but they just don't know how to break that circle. So here I am, I'm telling them, well, the only way to break that circle is through Jesus because it's happened to me. You know, people in prison need a positive role model. And uh, for Timbo to come to the Bible studies, explain the scriptures, but back in the pad as well, too, to, to sort of be there 247, sharing the gospel, explaining the scriptures, praying with people. It's a wonderful thing. Our Reflex have been amazing. We have some amazing members of Reflex who come in and help us. I remember the first time I came to a Bible study Reflex, there was only four of us there. And I thought to myself, wow, we, we got to get everybody else around with this teaching because what they were teaching me, I was just loving it. I think, and I'm thinking, well, everybody else needs to hear this. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to invite as much people as I can into these Bible studies because they need to hear what this Reflex team is saying. And then we had about 50 people come into a Bible study at one stage. We even had to turn people away because for health and safety reasons, we weren't allowed to have more than 50 in the room. What do I think about Timbo winning the Achieve Award? I am over the moon because there are very few people who measure up to this young man. Um, he's, he's perfectly transparent, and I think to, to change people's lives, you've got to be honest enough and real enough to be transparent and vulnerable. And uh, Timbo has just shared his story, he shared the good, he shared the bad, and he shared how God has totally transformed his life through Jesus. And if he can do it for Timbo, he can do it for anyone.